This video is part of consumer theory. In it, I'll continue the discussion of uncertainty by explaining what a risk premium is and how to calculate it. Recall that an individual who is risk averse dislikes risk and would even pay to avoid it. In other words, if a risk averse person is facing a lottery with expected value EV, then that individual would be happier if you just gave him the money EV rather than made him deal with the uncertainty inherent to the lottery. In fact, someone who's risk averse would even be happier taking some amount less than EV as a sure thing rather than facing the lottery's risk. What this video looks at is how much less than the expected value of a lottery a risk averse person is willing to accept. With that in mind, there are three different ways that we can define or view the risk premium. First, it's the amount less than a lottery's expected value a risk averse person would accept in exchange for the lottery. More intuitively though, it's the fee paid to avoid the risk inherent to a lottery. Most specifically, a risk premium or R is the value such that the utility the consumer gets from EV minus R equals the expected utility of the lottery. Consider the lottery where an individual receives cash prize of $1 with 50% probability and a cash prize of $5 with 50% probability. The utility that he would get from getting a dollar with certainty is represented by U of one, and the utility he would get from receiving a cash prize of $5 with certainty is given by U of five. The expected utility is therefore in between U of one and U of five, or right here. Notice that because this individual is risk averse, the utility that he gets from the expected value of the lottery is greater than the expected utility of the lottery itself. That is, he'd rather just get the lottery's expected value with certainty rather than have to bear the risk of the lottery. In fact, he would be willing to accept even less than EV to be able to avoid the risk of the lottery. That's what we're looking for. How much less than the lottery's expected value would the individual accept to avoid the risk of the lottery? We call this the risk premium. The risk premium says there's some certain amount of cash that would make the individual equivalent or just as happy as the lottery itself. So notice that the utility of EV minus R is set equal to the expected utility of the lottery. Solving for the risk premium is what I'll show you next. To solve for the risk premium, first we need to calculate the expected value of a lottery, then we need to calculate the expected utility of the lottery, and finally, plug these two values into this equation to solve for R. Here's an example. Assume an individual has a VNM utility function over money, U equals the log of X, where X is money. She faces a lottery that pays $10 with 0.3 or 30% probability and $20 with probability 0.7 or 70%. What is her risk premium? First, we calculate the expected value as a weighted average of these two cash prizes, the weights being their probabilities, to get an expected value of $17. Next, we calculate the expected utility of this lottery. Now we are weighting the utility that the person would get from each of the cash prizes for an expected utility of 2.8 utils. Now plug these values into the equation, which says the utility of EV minus R, here the utility is the log of X, where X is EV or 17 minus R, equals the expected utility of the lottery, which is a 2.8. To solve for R, we are going to apply the exponential function to both sides of this equation and then do a little bit of algebra to arrive at an R 
of 55 cents. What 55 cents means is if you ask this individual, look, you can either play that lottery or I'll give you $17 minus 55 cents or $16.45, that would make the individual indifferent between choosing the lottery or choosing the $16.45 with certainty.